What's up, people? Um, this is Final Fantasy 15 Judge, Judgment Disc Demo. Uh, the final demo for Final Fantasy 15. There's been three, and uh, this is the best one because this is supposed to be the first hour of the actual game. Um, by looking at, you know, saying what I'm playing now, um, I'm floored. I'm, I'm floored because I see where the work was put in it. I see, you know what I'm saying, the, you know what I'm saying, the detail of this game. And this is just the first scene right here. Um, I'm pretty sure for as long as this game has been in development, a lot of things were changed in this game. Um, you know, basically the story had to been changed up at least three to four times. Um... The characters had to be changed up. The only character I know of this that has remained the same from the very first trailer up until now is Noctis, which, um, you know, saying to tell you a little bit about the story, uh, Noctis and his friends are on a road trip because, you know, he's supposed to be getting married to his fiance Luna. And uh, while they're on their road trip, he gets word that his homeland has been invaded and taken over under false pretense of a peace treaty. And that him, his loved ones, his father, the king, has been slain by the hand of the enemy. Well, of course, you know, that's not true. But, you know, that's, you know what I'm saying, sets it off for this, you know what I'm saying, adventure. Uh, to gather the strength needed to uncover the truth and reclaim his homeland, Noctis and his loyal companions must overcome a series of challenges in, in a spectacular open world that is filled with larger-than-life creatures, amazing wonders, diverse cultures, and treacherous foes. Um, this game is going to be awesome. You know, first of all, let me get that out the way. It's going to be great. Um, I'm playing it on the PlayStation 4 Pro using Share Factory 2.0, which I'm going to go into detail about those in a few. I wanted to talk about this game first. Um, of course, you know, Square Enix has some of the best cutscenes in any games out there. And this is a, you know, cutscene which is just crazy looking. You know, it, is, it looks, it's the best looking cutscene I've seen all year in any game. Um,. Let's just get this out of way out the way. Will this be game of the year? It's a possibility. It depends on who is judging this. Um me personally, I have a few games that's on my list for game of the year. And uh, if I had to pick one, I wouldn't. I will you know what I'm saying, because it's it's getting too hard now. Okay, but let's talk about uh Share Factory two point oh and the things it can do. Um a new Share Factory update is rolling out, which is, you know what I'm saying, it's already out. Because um, it came out a few days before PlayStation 4 was released. With Share Factory 2.0, you can create animated GIFs or GIFs or whatever, you, which one you want to call it. Photo collages and more. Also, with the launch of the PlayStation 4 Pro, which that's what I'm playing it on now. Um, Share Factory will also fully support the system with new up, with this new update. We're excited about the new animated GIFs uh, features, which can be easily shared to Twitter right from your console via Share Factory. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Uh, using content from your capture gallery or your existing Share Factory projects. That's pretty cool. Um, you can create looping animated GIFs up to 10 seconds long. Share Factory is currently the only way to create and share animated GIFs on the P PS4. Okay, cool. I probably would never use that feature, but some of you guys probably will because, you know, you guys are very creative. Uh, the new update adds also adds photo mode, a great way to show off some of your best trophies and gaming moments not bad you can easily create custom photo collages up to six photos you can also utilize most of the existing filters and effects from share factory to add to your photos i probably won't be using that anyway additional share factory 2.0 update will support playstation 4 pro's high resolution content so you can create personalized and share your 1080p videos at 4k and 4k screenshots 
uh, with the world. Straight from your capture gallery. Not bad. Not bad. Because I, I mentioned something earlier about every screenshot you take is in 4K. Uh, and once you share it, it's going to show in 4K. Um, other features in this update includes projects now export up to 20% faster. Good. That's great. Uh, pan and zoom on your gameplay videos. I uh, might try that. New share factory troll stickers. New font for internet memes. Split clip feature can now be utilized on track 2 in a refresh UI. Not bad. Getting into the PlayStation 4 Pro, which was released on November the 10th, 2016. If I'm right, the original PlayStation 4 was released November the 9th, 2013. Um, dynamic 4K gaming and 4K entertainment. And I'm reading this from uh, Sony's website. And this is about the PlayStation 4 Pro. And pay attention to the, to the wording. Spectacular graphics explore vivid worlds with uh, rich visuals heightened by the PS4 Pro support for faster frame rates delivers super sharp action for select PS4 games select um, compatible with every PS4 game play online with other PS4 players with the PlayStation Plus with up to 4k streaming and 4k auto upscaling for video content improved visibility of objects further in the background and greater focus on and more detail images with soft images with soft features such as rounded corners and faces appear smoother and more visually realistic visuals with very small features like smoke and steam have a heavier look and realistic feel I don't know how can feel anything uh, the PS4 Pro outputs game resolution ranging from 1080p to 1440p. The PS4 Pro utilizes enhanced resolution techniques to increase game res resolution to approach 4K. That's that checkerboard um, uh, process which uh, Mark Cerny was talking about. Uh, the PS4 Pro enables game re resolution output at a native 20, 2160p resolution. Now, I don't think every game is going to be native. I'm pretty sure not every game is going to be native 4K. Um, but for what this game, for what this console is priced at, it's worth it to me. Um, I have a 1080p TV. I'm in the market for a 4K TV. Um, but I won't be running out here just getting what anybody else may say is the best TV because that's just your opinion you know what I'm saying um, we learned that it doesn't matter if uh, things are written down on paper and it looks very good that it's the best hell Tony Romo for the Dallas Cowboys has better stats than Tom Brady but Tom Brady has them uh, four Super Bowl championships and Tony Romo has zero with only one playoff win so using that that analogy towards everybody else's opinion and they're reading off a spreadsheet talking about uh, the specs and stuff for a 4k television doesn't necessarily mean it is the best um, you know a lot of things come down to your opinion and what you like I like what I like and I'm going to continue to like what I like and when I find the right 4K television for me, that's when I'm going to jump on that boat. But until then, I'm happy with what I have which is a 1080p Sony Bravia and I have the PlayStation 4 Pro because I wanted to take advantage of, you know what I'm saying, better resolution, you know, 1080p gaming, period, you know. Um, I've always thought that, you know, saying we don't really need 4K right now because, you know, we was in standard definition for so long. You know, we went from black and white to color to standard to HD, and it didn't take, you know, saying like it, it, it wasn't that fast. You know, saying it, it took a long time to get to HD, you know. So, me personally, I say the developers need to master 1080p before they can go to 4K. Um, now, as far as like uh, all games, even PC being 4K, um, well, let's say PC games as 4K, are those games developed with 4K in mind, 
or is that an upscaler? Because uh, 4K is new technology, and I'm not gonna act like I know what I'm talking about. But far as I know, 4K monitors for PCs aren't out there like that. You know, um, I and mean, it's probably a few people that have, you know, saying a 4K monitor, but you know, saying those monitors aren't, you know, saying uh, 55 inch, 49 inch, 48, 43. They're mainly like 28 or 32 inches the most. You know, uh, when it comes to 4K, I want it to be on television. And I want it to be, you know, saying a pretty decent size where I can sit back, you know, saying across the room and enjoy the visual effects of whatever I'm watching without having to come close up on the screen. Um, anyway, that's enough about that because I'm not no uh, professional, professional, prof you know, saying 4K ambassador, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but look at this trailer right here. This is the trailer you get when you beat the demo. And, I mean, this is going to be a very good game. This is going to be great. Um, I want to give a shout out to Hard Knock Gamers. Um, uh, PS News, PlayStation News Now. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the, the Coalition, you know what I'm saying? The Throwdown. And, uh, PGR, you know what I'm saying, those guys, you know what I'm saying, those are great guys, you know, come, you know what I'm saying, check me out on Hard Knock Gamers on Facebook, um, and follow me on Twitter, MrWest78, for more content, later.